building from system property, system parking, and they own a bunch of parking lots in downtown. And we're actually still a partner with them on the lower floor is what we call the terminal portion of the building, which we'll take a peek at later. Um, system, when they owned it, it was basically a vacant office building for about 10 years. They occupied this second floor as their office space. Um, we negotiated a deal with them to purchase the property and stay in partnership on the lower floors, which over time we hope to develop as this area is really starting to come up more and more um, with the hotel across the street going with this, the adjacent parking lot next door hopefully being developed very soon. So we expect something to happen with the terminal space shortly. But for the apartment project, Forest City is one of the experts in adaptive reuse nationwide. Um, the difficult, the, the challenges of historic and adaptive reuse are basically just um, the unknowns and staying in the deal long term, and that's one thing we do really well. We buy and build to own. Um, and when you're in the historic game, when you're dealing with historic credits, um, owning for the long term is really important because you're not going to get your payoff right up front. If you're looking to buy, build, and flip, it's really challenging. There's so many unknowns that you encounter, which George and Tom can talk a little bit about as well in this deal, that it, it will just kill your returns if that's what you're focused on. So when we purchased the building, we had a construction budget for this uh, total budget, actually, I'm sorry, about $65 million, and, and at the end of the day, it costs close to $75. Um, that said, we, uh, we opened the building in April of 2007, so it's an 18-month total construction time, which is very short um, compared to building new construction. And the building is doing amazing today, which Nathan can talk a little bit later about the occupancy and uh, the performance. The lease-up was a little slower than we expected. I will point that out. The area hadn't quite gotten there um, by 2007, and you would have prospective tenants come in, love the building, love everything about it, and then get to the front door, and there might be a vagrant sleeping on the sidewalk or someone yelling and screaming down the street, something crazy. It, it affected lease-up for a little while. That problem still exists, but not. But people are much more comfortable in downtown, so th things have just gotten gotten much better in this area, and they continue to, to improve. Um, you know, I just want to point out some of the things that you know John John asked me to focus on were you know the fact that adaptive reuse is you know one of the best forms of sustainability, and if we were to build this building today, essentially 277 units, um, it would cost us around 100 million dollars, um, and with the premium for the finishes in this building, the marble cladding, you know everything that you're going to see, probably close to 150 million dollars, um, whereas we did the project for 75 million, and. Uh, today, you know, the project's worth well over $100 million from what we put into it, so, you know, we've, we've fortunately done, done very well. Um, 